Hey guys, Gabe here with RC Cincy, and you guys might be able to kind of tell. I'm currently in my kitchen. Um, I actually wanted to do a review. Now, this is inspired by actually RC Sailors, the RC Sailors, so thank you. Um, I purchased these, I'd say about uh, right before um, November, and they're actually on sale at Kroger's. I paid uh, $9.99 and they're originally $20. These are the As Seen on TV um, RC Pocket Racers. Now this one's the Fury. Um, they had uh, four different versions. I think there's the Fury, the Phantom, uh, the Bullet, and then the Bull. So uh, each one had its own color. Um, I think these are 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, technology um, so that's pretty cool it does require two uh, AAA batteries um, what's nice about these is uh, now you can actually get them off of Amazon and a few other sites for anywhere from eight dollars to twenty honestly I'd pay anywhere from eight to twelve would be a fair uh, price in my opinion um, you know, you can find them at other stores. If they're 20 bucks, just go to Amazon, pay 8 bucks or so, and then get it shipped to you in two days. So that's not a bad deal. Um, what's cool about this, it's all contained, everything you need, inside this little case. Now, the cool part about that is, this flips open, the car sits in until you slide it back and unlock it. Then it comes right off. Well, maybe I didn't go in the right direction. There we go. Yep, slide it back, pops off. Car is really small, I'd say about the size of a um, Hot Wheels car. Uh, it does have a wire that comes out, like so. So that is actually your charging wire. What you simply do is you make sure the car is in the off position on your off switch. And then you turn this on, the light flashes, uh, and just simply plug it in. This light comes on. And uh, this light uh, goes off when it's done charging. So even if you just got done charging, it'll charge a little bit, kind of top it off, and then the light will go out. There'll be no light when it's done charging. Then you simply unplug it, turn this off, and you're good to go. Now, um, you want to make sure you charge these. Get some decent batteries like Duracell, or get, just get some good batteries. Uh, it helps a lot with the charging and how, how fast they charge if the batteries are dead and take longer to charge. Plus you might not get a full charge, so be aware of that. Um, the Phantom is the black one, which is, uh, which is one of my favorites. I think it looks really cool. Uh, actually, the designs of the vehicles here, I'll show you the Fury, which is the yellow one. Now, don't worry about getting these uh, controllers mixed up. It has the name on the back side of it, so you know what controller goes with what vehicle. The Fury looks like a Lamborghini, and this one looks more um, probably like a Nissan or something of that nature. Or, yeah, I'd say like a Nissan. So, they're pretty cool, small, lightweight. Um, they do have these small little dials right here that, adjust, that adjusts the uh, steering on them. So, if you're going down and it kind of drifts without you actually hitting... Uh, actually you wanting not to turn and it veers kind of off of you you can trim it just be careful because it's real sensitive so do a little bit at a time and then run it and then see how it does um they drive anywhere from say about nine minutes to 12 depending how um how fast and how aggressive you are now the cool part about this is they actually have lights they have front lights on it they have back lights so when you're driving forward the front lights light up bluish kind of color and then uh, when you're driving backwards the back lights light up red which is really cool uh, this isn't really proportional steering it, when you hit it it just kind of gives it all but you can by letting off and you know letting off of it it kind of does you can steer as I'll show you and demonstrate in this video uh, this is more like a kind of like an unboxing a little bit of review I'm actually waiting for my fiance <laughs> for her to get back from work I'm actually gonna race these so I have uh, these cones that came with it, I didn't want to show There's these small cones. I'll show you one real fast. Um, each car comes with four. 
So, you know, you buy more than one and you get quite a few cones and you're able to kind of set up a track. Now, I recommend very s smooth, flat surfaces like tile, linoleum, wood. Uh, concrete's real rough. You have to have really smooth uh, concrete. Maybe you've got your concrete glaze or like a color stamp concrete that's smoother. That might work. Uh, but, you know, these are really, really cool. So, what we'll do is I'll kind of show you how they work now and then... We'll have a race, so I'm going to post this video first. If you guys want to comment and say who's going to win, uh, then you can pick the person, and maybe we'll do something cool at the end once I get enough people voting and see how, you know, try not to cheat and watch the other video, because I will post this a little bit later. Uh, takes the fun out of it, you know. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab, let's see, I'll go ahead and run the Phantom. Now, to uh, get this to work, all you simply do is turn a control on first. The light flashes, indicating that it's not bound. You turn on the car. Boom. Goes bound. So that's why it makes me believe that it is 2.4 gigahertz protocol. Um, some kind of protocol. So, you know, it binds itself. Let me show you. The lights. Oops, that's reverse. <laughs> Four. Lights are nice and bright. Reverse. Then the steering, one way, other way, so it is, like I said, uh, kind of all or nothing, but you, as I'll show you, you can be pretty, um, you can drive this really nicely, like you should be able to get through cones and stuff. So let's go ahead and set this down right here. Let me flip the screen around. I'm going to try to get an angle to where you kind of see all of them. Uh, let me go back a little. This is a pretty long track. It has the beginning two cones where I'm across the line. I'm going to try to weave in between the cones, go around the two outer cones. Let me turn on this light for you guys too. Maybe this will help. It's pretty... Uh, that might help a little bit. So it's found, ready to go. I'm going to set it on the line. <clears throat> and I'm just going <laughs> to practice. I might need it to face against her. She is a pretty aggressive, fun driver. So, here we go. I'm going to kind of take it easy the first couple times. So you see as I'm kind of tapping it and working it. Now, the objective is to go around both of these. Uh, oh, got it. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> I got to remember when you come back. That's pretty much what we consider lap, so I might change that. I don't know, that was a really difficult course. Let's get through cars going. I'm going to show you the kind of top speed coming at us. They are really quick and fun. Uh, I didn't actually check to see if this one's bearing at all. Let's see. Now, what makes it a little bit harder on this surface is. These are real tile, so they have the grout, so it's actually kind of bumpy. You'll see as it's striding, kind of bouncing a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> and I'm hoping to get out today and actually do a couple of videos, which will probably be uh, uh, launched maybe in a day or two. I'm going to try to get that drone footage for you guys since it is nicer out. The rain finally subsided. It rained several days in a row. Uh, I actually went to my job for, uh, they're introducing 401k for a meeting. And uh, the whole entire back of my uh, shop was completely flooded. I mean, you can literally take a boat or a pontoon <laughs> and, uh, you know, drive around most of the yard. I mean, it was pretty bad. I haven't seen it flooded like that. Uh, it is down by the Miami River, if anybody knows where that's at. So it flooded really badly. I know there was some flooding in Cincinnati. <laughs> that sucks. My heart goes out to the guys that got any stuff damaged. Because it is terrible. You know, flood damage is nothing to mess around with. Uh, so, that's un, it's un, you know, it does suck, but, you know, as long as there's no life loss, it can be replaced. Uh, let's zip around a little more. Kind of trying to get the feel of it. I don't really want to wreck into the cones. I'm trying to get the agility. Um, 
I'm sure we'll go so fast we'll probably blow right through them like that. <laughs> Maybe we can make a thing where you have to hit them pack for the next one. Or like a quick little hot race. Oops. <laughs> this is just a lot of fun. A kid would have a blast with this. Oh. Haha, <laughs> nailed it. That would be fun. Actually, it is really fun hitting the cones, to be honest with you. Um, I can see why you'd want to hit the cones. This is a blast. So, that's pretty much it for this uh, review. Kind of a small review. Uh, I got rid of the box since I bought it so long ago. Show the lights again. They're still pretty bright. Uh, they're really, really neat. So, definitely... Uh, definitely a pretty awesome little car. Um, so I'm going to wait for her and we're going to have this race. Please vote and, you know, <laughs> uh, see who wins. And, uh, I'll get a couple packages should be coming today or tomorrow. Plus I'll get those, uh, drones for you guys. So I think this week's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys had a good weekend and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.